and this is what we want to see this is the goal the end goal now i had an issue and i'm about to go through it i had an uh, export uh failed uh so let me show you what it was and how i fixed it <laughs> Just as a side note, this is a third error message that I received on export. Uh, it had to do with compression, and I only got this one error message one time. And it had to do with the compression, and you can see here I, cho I just chose the faster uh, compression, and then I uh, exported the file, it exported fine. Uh, and then I went back and chose the better quality and it worked uh, fine the second time. And I think it had to do the f with the fact that I had a couple of different virtual machines open and a bunch of different applications. So I closed all those applications out, uh, may have restarted iMovie and then it worked fine. So I've only had that error message one time. Okay, so I sent, spent hours and hours and hours editing this uh, 15 and 20 minute video clip. And then I get these two errors. Uh, so on export. When I export it, I get these two errors. One of them is this 10008, uh, and the next one is this one here. Uh, so what do you do? So I'll show you what I did to quickly find and eliminate. What it is is a black, one black frame. And a lot of people said to uh, scroll through frame by frame through all 15 or 20 minutes, but that takes forever. So let me show you how I quickly found and eliminated that frame and was able to export. And the steps are, uh, export it, uh, export your file. When it has an error, you go open the file, you play it in QuickTime or whatever, and you find where it freezes in the, uh, the video. Then you go to that in your timeline here and you edit that black portion out and it's very simple. So let me walk you through the process. Okay, so here we go. Again, we got a render error 10008. I was almost finished, so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the file that I was exporting and find whereabouts that error is. Alright, we got 14 minutes here and 15 minutes on the timeline, so immediately I see we got a problem. 14.51 here, 14 minutes and 51 seconds here, and there's 15.50 on the timeline, so right around 14 minutes there's going to be a problem. So let's, this is the exported file that I just the file that I just exported. So let's go around here to. I don't need to listen to it. So we're just looking for wherever it freezes. There it is. 14, 14, 40, 4, 14, 45, somewhere in there. Alright, so let's go there in the timeline. There it is right there. So we found the black screen, the black uh, at 1444 actually. So there it is right there in this little transition area. And if you play it, you can barely see it right here in the playback area. Blink, blink. But if you click here and use the left and right arrows, you can find it. It's at the end of that one and the beginning of that one. So what we're going to do is clip out, remove that little, see if we can, yeah, there we go. There we go. So I trimmed the back edge, the left, house, left part of that one and the right part of this one. I'm going to take those two out. And I think we're done. 44. Frame by frame, there's no more black frame. So let's try, uh, let's export it again. Yeah. 
And it's still working on stabilization background, but that's okay. I'm going to continue just for now, just see if it exports fine without the error. Drum roll, please. And we have success. Would you look at that? Successful. Doing a little happy dance right now. That's it, baby. It's working. Okay, so my frustrations concerning iMovie are now done, over with. I'm done. Exported successfully. I found the frame that I needed and cut it out. Exported successfully. And uh, now I can move on with my life and not spend hours and hours and hours trying to comb the internet and scroll through each and every frame trying to find which one I need to cut out so again the steps are uh, export it uh, export your file when it has an error you go open the file you play it in QuickTime or whatever and you find where it freezes in the uh, the video then you go to that in your timeline here and you edit that black portion out and it's very simple thank you for watching and uh, be sure to check out some of our other videos and have a blessed day.